Well, good evening, good evening. And so we come to the end of another day. Last day of May. Hmm, and still alive. That can't be bad, can it? Um, yeah, at the end of the day, do you spend time contemplating on the great questions that face the world? You know, will President Putin press the wrong button and vaporise us all? Or, um, oh, I don't know, is there a life after death? That's quite a big question, isn't it? You know, how, how does the Eucharistic miracle work? That, that's, that's one of the mysteries that I suspect we're never going to know the answer to. But amongst all of these heavyweight questions, the question that is fascinating me tonight is, you know, in the morning you have a shower. Well, that's an assumption, isn't it? Some of you maybe have a shower. Some of you, perhaps you're just dirty people who spend all day smelling. We'll assume that you're all very clean people and every morning you get out of bed and you pinch yourself to make sure you're still alive and you have a shower. Now, every so often while you're having a shower, you notice that the water level in the shower tray is getting deeper and deeper and deeper. And when it is about ankle deep, you think to yourself, do you know, I really, really probably should um, clean the trap in the shower. Now, there's only fundamentally three things that go into a shower. There's the human body that's hoping to be a clean human body. There's whatever sort of soap, shower, gel, um, shampoo you use and there's water so the question on my mind tonight is what exactly is it that we recover from the trap in the shower tray because it doesn't look like water and it doesn't look like anything that comes off a human body and it certainly isn't shampoo yeah so let's not worry about Putin nuclearizing the whole world and let's not spend too long contemplating the meaning of life Let's have some proper research into what is it that fills up the trap in a shower tray.